Well, what are you doing this coming Sunday? It's the perfect day for a drive to Westminster. Sunday, July 30th is Music at the Park, and this year's event will again be a fabulous, fun time for the entire family. Located at Westminster Park, 66 6825 Faulkner Road, which is in Westminster. Now, if you Google it, you have to put in the address Herod, but it's in the village of Westminster. It starts at 11 a.m. and runs through 4 and will include the second annual car show. Cost for the event is free, and this year's slate of performers include Arnold Coy, Scott Stemmel, Three Bridges, Chris August, and Christian comedian Brad Brown. Now, Brad's an internationally known entertainer. He combines side-splitting comedy <laughs> and mind-blowing magic to engage and entertain audiences while clearly presenting gospel truth. Now here's a sneak peek at what you can enjoy this coming Sunday at Music in the Park with comedian Brad Brown. Since we're talking about growing up, I thought I would, I've been thinking about growing up, not, not doing it because that'd be crazy. <laughs> but I was thinking about what it means to grow up and I thought I would help one of you with an important life decision, figuring out what you're gonna be when you grow up. So I need somebody with who needs, <laughs> I will, ch I think, hmm. I, 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 how about you, would you mind helping me out? Perfect, come on up here. Give him a big round of applause. Watch your step there, perfect. All right, come right over here. What's your name? Chase. Chase, all right, Chase. Do people ever ask you what you're gonna be when you grow up? No. Nope, people still ask me that question. Apparently, magician is not a real job. <laughs> anyway, I, I, I made some choice, some options for you here. So these are some of the things you could choose to be when you grow up. Perhaps you would like to be a firefighter. No. All right, that's, he's, he's a firefighter, or was. All right. All right, all right, I have other options. Perhaps you would like something else. Another way to help people is to be a doctor. Nope. Nope. They used to make money. I'm not so sure anymore. All right, I have, I have, I have if you want to help people and aren't into the money thing, another option is teacher. That's a girl job. That's a girl job. I believe, I believe there are a few girls in the audience who might want to talk to you afterwards. If I were you, I would hide. All right, all right, that's all right. If you're a little bit more adventurous, perhaps you could do another potentially girl job, astronaut. No. All right, that's okay. I have another option for you. I have what may be the most important option of all. This could be the most important job, nay, the most important calling one could have on their lives. You could choose to be a magician. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, all right, here we go. All right, now I'm gonna pick the one that I think he's gonna be when he grows up. Don't tell him, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna be one of these. Don't tell him. Maybe she's lying, you don't know. All right. I am gonna put my prediction right there. I have another set of cards right here. I'm gonna go through these one at a time. You can say stop whenever you like, and whichever one you end up on, that'll be the one you get. Choose wisely because this will be what you're gonna be when you grow up. You have no choice, it's the way it works. All right, but you're not gonna to get to see it, you just see the back. But if they match, then that will prove that it's meant to be. So here we go. You could choose this one. Oh. Let me do it this way so they can see, but you can't. You're just the one who needs to be surprised. You could choose this one. Or perhaps you'd prefer this one. Or this one. You can say stop at any time if you might like this one. Or keep going. This one. Stop. This one. Are you sure? Yeah. You sure? All right. Take it. Hug it really tight. Don't show anybody yet. Just hug it. I'll grab my prediction. Wouldn't it be amazing if they matched? I think so. All right, look, take a look. Don't show anybody yet, but peek at it. And tell us really loud, what are you going to be when you grow up? A good person. That's nice. Um, uh, what's, what's the card say you're going to be when you grow up? Uh, just show everybody the card you chose. That's good. Um, how'd you do that? Yeah, I don't know either. But I think, I think there's a good chance he's right. I think he just might turn out, in fact, to be a good person. <laughs> Thank you so much. You have XTC. Give him a big round of applause. Be really careful on the stairs there. You know, the kind of person we are, 
is even more important than the kind of job we have. You know, it, it, it's important whether you decide to be a doctor, lawyer, or you know, whatever. But what's really important is the kind of person you are. But the truth is, we can't be good, not, not on our own. You know, we try to be good. Do you try to be good? I do. I still try to be good, and sometimes I can, sometimes not so much. But there's good news. Even though we can't be good on our own, God is willing to help us become the kind of people we were designed to be. And if we trust him, if we put him in charge of our lives, then we can become the kind of good people that he intended us to be. I get to travel all over the place doing magic, and there's something you may or may not have noticed about me. That is, I am just a little bit weird. Oh, you did notice. <laughs> I was trying to be subtle. Anyway, but that's okay, because weird is another way of saying special. Weird means there's nobody else on this entire planet who's exactly like me. And you can say, yes, that's probably true. But that's okay, because God had a plan that was just perfect for my weirdness. You know, my main job is not like doing office work and stuff. My main job is traveling all across the country, sometimes all around the world, acting silly and telling people about Jesus. It's like the best job in the world for me. And I have something I've noticed about you too. You all are just a little bit weird too. Some are a lot weird. <laughs> but, but that's okay. That just means you're special. That means there's nobody else like you. And just like God had a plan for me, God had a plan, has a plan that's just perfect for you. And that doesn't mean that life's going to get easy and nothing bad's ever going to happen or anything. But it does mean that if you follow God with all your heart, you have the best, most amazing life you could possibly have. See, I was a church kid. I was in church pretty much every time the doors were open. And if the doors weren't open, I was probably there anyway because my dad was a deacon. And that's the way it worked. But I, I was a pretty good kid. You know, I, I didn't do anything really wrong. I was. Don't give me that look. <laughs> the, you know, I mean, I wasn't... You know, one of the bad kids who did things. It's one of the good kids who didn't do things. So, so I thought I was, had it all together pretty much. Until one day when my pastor came and visited with me, and I realized that my life wasn't really as together as I thought it was. What I've got here is iodine. I'm using this because it's kind of nasty. It stains if you get it on your hands. It doesn't come off if I spill it on the stage. I've just bought myself a stage. But you know, even though I was a pretty good kid by comparison with other people, the truth is, you know, I, I told lies. I hadn't always obeyed my parents. You know, maybe I didn't do anything that was really wrong, but I still had disobeyed God. Like you've heard of the Ten Commandments, right? Things like lying and disobeying your parents and stealing, taking things we weren't supposed to. These, these are what the Bible calls sin. And if I were to be honest, even though I look good from the outside, on the inside, my life really was a mess. And like a lot of people, I thought, no problem. I can fix things up. All I have to do is do more good stuff, and it'll balance out. But of course, it doesn't really work that way. You know, once we've sinned, once we've messed up our lives, there's no way humanly possible to clean things up again, to fix things up. On our own, no amount of good stuff can make up for this. But the really cool part is we don't have to make up for it on our own. That's why Jesus came. Jesus came... Jesus, who is God in human form, died on the cross to pay the price for our sin. So we don't have to clean ourselves up. In fact, we can't. So trying is pretty hopeless. All we have to do is do what I did. And that is invite God right into the middle of our mess, right into the middle of our messed up lives. And he'll take our mess of a life and begin cleaning us up from the inside out. Once again, Brad Brown will be live at Music in the Park this coming Sunday. This outdoor concert is free. It starts at 11 a.m. and runs through 4 p.m. Food, rides for the kids, or some, it may not be rides. Sometimes it's like uh, bouncy things. They have stuff there, a uh, car show available. Just a great event. This year's lineup includes Scott Stimmel, Arnold Coy, the magician Brad Brown that you just saw, uh, Three Bridges, and Chris August. Again, the location is Westminster Park. 6825 Faulkner Road. Now, if you need to plug that into your GPS, use Herod as the uh, city for that. You can bring your lawn chairs. For more information, go to musicinthepark.info.